Hello investors, hey, welcome back uh, to the Trend Trader channel. Today I want to share with you a couple of stocks that uh, I find interesting. So today we'll be discussing some tobacco stocks. Uh, the reason I'm, I'm attracted to these stocks uh, is because of the dividends uh, that they pay. Uh, here in South Africa we have British American Tobacco, which is the listed uh, tobacco company. And as far as I know, it is the only company in the GSE that pays quarterly dividends, meaning that um, each and every quarter you will be receiving a dividend from the British American Tobacco. This week they paid a dividend that was, uh, I think, the March dividend. But also, if you go to the BTI website or if you check on MoneyWeb, you can already see that BTI is already planning to pay some dividends uh, somewhere in July. There's some dividend for around September, October. So yeah, it's that stock that will just keep on giving you money at least uh, four times per year. But also we'll be looking at other foreign uh, tobacco companies that you can find um, on your Easy Equities US dollar account. Or you can use another broker that gives you access to some uh, foreign stocks because one of the stocks is not listed in the new york security exchange it's listed um, in the london stock exchange so i'm not sure if it's available on is equities or not probably some part of it and adr is available in the new york stock exchange then maybe it might be available on uh, is equities so without wasting any more time let's uh, dive into those stocks that we'll be looking at uh, for today So we are going to start with uh, British American Tobacco because that is what most of us uh, already know. So British American Tobacco is the company that uh, sells cigarettes in South Africa besides what uh, is classified as illicit cigarette. Most of the time if you buy a cigarette in South Africa, chances are you are buying a British American Tobacco cigarette. But there are other uh, cigarettes that we want to uh, focus on today. We're just going to focus on British American Tobacco. As you can see, the stock is currently trading around 564 rand per share. So what we're going to focus on a lot in this video is the dividend. So here on Yahoo, they talking about forward dividend, meaning it's the estimated dividend that will be paid in future. So when they talk about the forward dividend and the forward dividend yield, it's what they think about in future in terms of like the next dividend payout in this case if we were to say that the next quarter ends uh, in june so it's the dividend that will be paid in june and the dividend yield based on the current share price and estimated dividend that will be paid so it, they are not talking about in the past as other websites like moneyweb will cover a uh, dividend yield so in this case we can see that they are estimating a dividend of about um I think that's uh, 43 cent. Yeah, I think the price is in cent. So they are projecting a dividend yield of about, no, actually, I think that's about uh, 4 rent per cent. Because British American Tobacco, when they do the dividend, they use uh, the British pound uh, pence. I just checked uh, some time earlier this week and I saw that they will be paying about uh, 58 pence. So if you do the estimation there or the conversion to the south african rent you will see i think the rent is currently trading at about 19 rent per share oh, sorry not 19 rent per share 19 rent per british pound so about half of that is somewhere about 9 rent 10 rent so that's the dividend that you can expect uh, expect from british uh, american tobacco and as you can see here it says a uh, johannesburg so we are looking at the Johannesburg price which is 563 rand per share so yeah this will be paying a dividend uh, soon like in the next quarter uh, British American tobacco so let's look at the British American tobacco chart so currently the price of BTI is trading above the 200 day moving average so personally I'm happy to hold even though I still want uh, to see 
the stock breaking above this uh, resistance level well i don't pick uh, the color of the highlight but at this moment the stock is trading uh, in this tight range between 520 per share and about 508 rand per share so it's currently sitting at 563 rand per share so what we expect is that the stock will continue to touch this um, 580 level then from there uh, it's possible that it can break above this maybe retest and then continue to trade higher meaning that if it goes higher it may come to this uh, level somewhere around uh, 608 rand per share but obviously if there's not uh, enough buyers pushing the stock higher then you can expect the stock to come back at least to test the 200 day moving average as it has been done and of course the worst case scenario is that the stock goes up to touch 580 they need to trace all the way back um, to 520 but today we are not discussing technicalities in terms of trying to capture a large move we are just focusing on stocks that will pay us regular dividends because yes we want capital appreciation but at the same time we also want to receive money from time to time from the companies that uh, we invested on so yeah that, that's it uh, with uh, british american tobacco okay so now let's clear everything and then look at the next uh, company so the next company that we are looking at uh, is philip morris it's not a south african company uh, it's listed in the New York uh, Security Exchange. It's also another uh, tobacco company. This one is trading in uh, US dollars. The current share price is uh, 97.70. So it's 97 dollars 70 cent. And also, okay, what we missed here, what I didn't mention is that the market capitalization of the British uh, American tobacco is 1.3 trillion but this is in rents obviously if you do the conversion then you will be able to see if you are comparing uh, apples with apples uh, let me just do a quick uh, calculation to see how big a uh, pti is compared to the other companies that you are discussing uh, okay the calculator is still loading so i guess uh, a trillion has about um, 1.3 uh, okay, I should not write it as 1.3. I guess a trillion has about nine zeros, so that would be 1.3 million, 13 million, 130, 1.3 billion. Uh, okay, now it's starting to look like a lot. 13 billion, 130 billion, 1.3 trillion. Then we're gonna assume that the rent is trading at 14 rent. So that's about, uh, let's see, that's about 92 billion uh, us dollars so now we'll be able to compare a uh, british american tobacco with the other companies that are trading uh, in us dollars uh, well i'm not going to convert the companies that are trading in the british pound because i don't know the exchange rate between uh, the pound and the us dollar but the market cap of british american tobacco is currently sitting at about 92 billion uh, us dollars so now it would be easy to compare with uh, the other companies so yeah once again back to philip morris so now we see since we're looking at the same currency we can see that uh, philip morris is actually bigger than uh, british american tobacco in terms of uh, the share or market capitalization the market capitalization is just the share price multiplied by the the number of shares that uh, people have bought so yeah that's it there's nothing special about it it doesn't tell you a lot if you look at south african population fine british american tobacco is a global company but if you look at the exchange where each stock is listed and the types of liquidity the population of that country that has an effect so market capitalization doesn't tell you uh, a lot of things uh, i mean if you're looking at Johannesburg Security Exchange listed companies, then you can say probably you are looking at you can compare apples and apples. But if stocks are listed in different exchanges, then there's a different story because a company might choose to list in the US maybe for tax benefits uh, or for other reasons. Maybe, yes, of course, chances are companies will list where they will pay lower taxes. 
and then if the population like in the us there's over 300 uh, million people in south africa is just about maybe 60 million people now and we know that the unemployment rate is very high so few people participate in the stock market as opposed uh, to the us so we're not going to be looking at market cap we're just going to be looking at the dividend of the company and the chart as well so yeah philip and morris is trading at 97 us dollars and the forward dividend it's about 4.8 dollars so here it's clear that the dividend that they will be paying um it's about 4.8 okay so what i think uh, as we saw that with british american tobacco they're saying i think this is a 43 rent a 36 cent so you have to divide that by four because they paid the dividend total so yeah since uh, pti already mentioned that they'll be paying 58 pence which is almost equivalent to 10 rent per share so if you take 10 rent four times that you get about a 40 rent a dividend so the forward dividend it's all the dividend that they'll be paying for that year remember the dividend yield is the annual dividend divided by the current share price so yeah it's not 43 cent it's 43 rent what you expect to get in that uh, particular year so if you take 43 rent divided by 564 you get about seven percent so meaning that if you take your money invest it in there with pti you are going to get about a 7.7 percent .7 of your money back in the form of dividends how the share price will perform it's another story <laughs> yeah so yeah we can see now that uh, philip morris has a dividend yield of about uh, five percent which is lower than what you see from the pti but obviously the difference one is listed in the us one is listed in Johannesburg, and they sell different types of uh, cigarette brand so it depends on the consumer what they want for us as investors and traders what we want is that dividend pay so we expect the smokers to continue to smoke so that you can get paid so now let's look at the chart of um, philip morris so as you can see philip morris has been uh, on a nice steady uptrend so it's been going up nicely you can see that the 200 day moving average is facing upwards the 50 day moving average is above the 50 day is above the 200 day moving average signaling a nice uh, clear uptrend we saw that the stock when it reached a uh, this resistance level it went up then it found a bit of resistance came back and found the dynamic support here on the 50 day moving average then it attempted to break above this uh, resistance level with a bit uh, of a consolidation here then another breakout consolidation retest so it's currently uh, trading up we expect the stock to continue to trade higher so if you were to buy here at current share price at 97 dollars a sensible stop loss will be somewhere around uh, 92 dollars which is just uh, below the close of the 50 day moving average so i like the chart pattern i will consider adding uh, philip morris into my portfolio so yes the chart uh, looks cool we are happy with that so now let's move on to the other stock which is uh, imperial brand this one now is listed in london security exchange so i'm not sure if they do have an adr well an adr is something that if a stock is listed in a certain exchange it will also trade in the us but in a form of an adr like sasol sasol is listed in south africa but it is also trading in the us as an adr so this one it's in london the price is in a uh, gpp so I, and then i think it's a um, british pence i guess so if you look at it if we, the assumption is that it's trading in pence then it means that the price it's about 15 pounds or 16 pounds let's just stick to 16 pounds because it's closer to that so imperial brands is trading at around a uh, 16 pounds per share you can see here that the dividend let me pull this uh, so that i can point where so if you look at the dividend yield you can see that the dividend that they're paying it's about two pounds per year meaning that you'll be getting about uh, 50 pounds uh, 50 pence <laughs> yes you'll be getting about 50 pence uh, every time when they pay the dividend so this one i'm not sure if they pay the dividend uh, quarterly compared to the other companies uh, i mean 
well i'm a south african i know pti gives quarterly dividends i know that the u.s stocks they give a quarterly dividends i haven't uh, invested directly in the stocks that are listed in the london security exchange so i don't know a lot of uh, information there so we're just gonna work on the assumption that they also pay a quarterly dividend but if you know whether they pay the dividend once semi-annually quarterly or monthly just uh, share in the comment section so that other people can have an idea of when these companies they pay the dividend so you see the ex dividend date was in uh, february so now they've passed a lot of months i would assume that they pay it uh, semi-annually so if they pay about uh, two pounds per year so it means that they pay about uh, one pound um, per dividend if they pay they pay the interim dividend and the final dividend so the dividend yield here it's a bit high it's about uh, 12 percent so we we'll look at the chart because as we mentioned in the video in the mzansi investor channel we said that don't just uh, use the dividend yield to make a decision we need to look at how the share price has been trading because if the company paid the dividend then after the share price started to fall the dividend yield is going to rise so if you use the dividend yield blindly you chances are you would buy a company that has a falling share price just because you are trying to chase a uh, that dividend yield so when you look at the chart we will see how the stock um, has been performing and to see if this uh, does justify this 12.15 uh, percent dividend yield so this one has a market cap of about uh, 15 billion well the british pound is not that far from the us dollar so if we were to convert it to the us dollar it's probably close to about uh, 20 pounds or so yeah just conservatively it's probably about uh, 20 billion uh, us dollars the market capitalization so now let's check uh, the chart of uh, imperial brands okay so here we are as i said that the dividend yield is high you can see that um the stock has been a uh, on a downtrend that is why it has a high dividend deal because as the share price was falling the stock kept on paying the dividend so every time they pay the dividend again let me just try to write here so the dividend yield is equals to the annual dividend divided by the share price so now you see if um, the share price goes lower the dividend yield go higher so don't make that mistake of thinking that okay the dividend yield is high then assume that the share price is going to do well no it doesn't mean that and also don't expect that the share price is going uh, sorry the dividend is going to remain constant if the share price is falling because if the share price is falling chances are the company is not performing great and they might not have um, enough cash to pay uh, shareholders so let's see uh, the dividend so in may it was still trading high the gross dividend was about uh, 31 pence then the following one still 31 they maintained it 72 it went up a bit 72 it stayed up so then you see from 72 it dropped to 20 pence and then at its lowest it was still at uh, about 20 pence and then as the share price started to rise again it came back to about uh, 48 pence the previous one was 48 pence as well so you see if the share price fall it's possible that the dividend can also fall it's not guaranteed nothing is certain in the market things change but there are some these are some of the things that uh, you need to keep in mind when you are buying uh, shares don't just look at the dividend yield blindly and see a large number and then think that you'll be getting a lot of dividends the dividends are going to be justified by how the company is performing how the company is performing can also be reflected on the chart because i believe that somebody always know what is happening in the company and they're going to trade based on the knowledge that they have yes insider trading is illegal but there's nothing that stops stop people from saying something uh, or hinting something to their friends and everything and then people start uh, trading otherwise so looking at the chart we said that 
it has been on a nice downtrend so here we saw that uh, it had this low where it bottomed somewhere around uh, 11 pounds per share then it came back attempted to break above the 200 day moving average coming back to retest that breakout and then it resumed uh, with this nice uptrend but there was this uh, resistance level here that it couldn't pass so now it's back again on the 200 day moving average so basically it's currently co consolidating between uh, 16 pounds and about uh, 13 pounds so what we see now it's just above this uh, resistance level it came back so we expected the stock either to retrace to find support somewhere around uh, 15 pounds and then resume break above this resistance level probably retest and then continue to trade high so i'm also bullish on uh, imperial brands unfortunately you can't buy all the stocks that you are bullish you need to pick one at the end of the day because if you buy all these five companies then i will still diversify it or i will just uh, tobacco investors that is something that you have to keep in mind as well don't just buy all the companies from the same set pick the one that is a winner or that you think it's a winner instead of holding everything okay now we are looking at the one that i currently own so i started investing in the u.s stocks uh, february 2021 so altria group is one of the companies that i first uh, invested on let's take a coffee break so altria it's an american company it's trading in the new york security exchange the share price is currently uh, 50 dollars i'm happy to hold this stock so far it has given me some nice uh, returns i don't have uh, any complaints with it so what we see uh, the forward dividend it's about three us dollars which is equivalent to uh, about 6.9 uh, percent dividend yield annual dividend yield also the company pays a quarterly dividend last week the first week of may we received a uh, dividends from the stock so june is around the corner at the end of the second quarter of 2021 probably somewhere in july will be receiving a dividend as well so altria group it also a secret company if you have read the book uh, the barbarians at the gate they talk about some reynolds kkr and stuff altria it's a spin-off of that uh, reynold group so now uh, there is still some royal reynold tobacco stuff but altria group is the group that uh, the main company that focuses on tobacco sales so it's currently trading at 50 us dollars as i've said uh, previously and i'm happy to own this one so let's look at uh, the chart so like i said i started investing earlier this year so when i started investing it was already up but it was somewhere around this uh, 40 dollar level because i started somewhere around april so you see it was it broke above 200 day moving average sort of had this overhead resistance here came back found support on the 50 day moving average consolidated here a bit before uh, it broke above reaching as high as about um, 52 us dollars per share then the u.s government decided to come up with a law about nicotine and stuff which sent all the tobacco companies uh, lower but i mean governments we know they will always propose some laws it will take time for those laws to be passed even if they do pass them that won't change the fact you can't stop people from smoking yes the company might have to change the way that they prepare their product for example if we were to make alcohol as an example if beer is five percent alcohol uh, per can then the government comes up with a policy to say they must reduce it to four percent it will take some time for the company to develop that product that has four percent alcohol and also for the consumers to accept that uh, product that has low alcohol in it but eventually they will adopt it so that was just a um, one day reaction when they made that announcement it was short-lived as you can see there was this uh, large drop on that day there was a bit of a red thing let me see if i can um, 
zoom in a bit so that you can see because if you are if you want to trade you need to do a proper price volume analysis don't just make a irrational decision without uh, looking at what is happening so you see on this day the stock it crashed it was a red day there was a bit of a volume which is higher than the previous day volume then the following day the stock uh, kept it had a gap uh, it opened around 45 us dollars but it closed higher somewhere about uh, 47 us dollars but it did that on volume meaning that buyers came back to support the stock they really push it uh, back up so it consolidated on the side for quite some time until on this day where it broke above the 50 day moving average resuming that uh, uptrend you can see here even though it's the earnings that are hiding but you can see this the volume on this day is higher than these uh, days volumes meaning that now people were back here they were really pushing the stock higher and then as you can see it's currently trading higher even though it had a bit of a retracement found uh, some support here with a bit uh, of volume on that day so it's currently back uh, near 50 dollars which is near that a uh, high of about 52 53 us dollars so don't just react always make sure that you understand the situation what is going on what is causing that uh, panic in the market uh, is the government rational or the lawmakers how is the market reacting to the news don't just say that okay now they're changing the cigarette or the amount of nicotine in the cigarette that is going to affect the company yes in the long run it can affect the company but in the short run that uh, panic can be short-lived as we saw here in the chat just the following day buyers came back to push the stock higher it's currently trading higher so i'm happy with it as i said in the first week of may uh, i got a dividend from this so this is the cigarette company that i have in my easy equities a uh, us dollar account so i'm happy uh, to hold this one and then finally let's look at a uh, universal corporation another tobacco company it's about uh, one point four billion so because this is already in us dollars this is the smallest company in terms of a uh, market cap but we've already covered that a uh, market cap is not a perfect metric that you can look at to compare uh, these companies so this one currently has a forward dividend of about uh, three dollars so if you take uh, three dollars divided by three that's about uh, 70 cent per quarter because it's an american company it pays quarterly dividend and the dividend yield is about a uh, 5.18 percent so that's the money that you expect to be getting so depending on the inflation rate of your country in south africa you're probably now sitting at about four percent which is might be the official uh, inflation rate so you want your dividends to be greater than the inflation otherwise you are slowly uh, losing money so uh, the next quarter the next payment is somewhere there in july as well the previous uh, ex dividend date was april 8 i think they've already paid um, this uh, dividend to the investors so this is the final tobacco company that we'll be looking at today a uh, universal corporation let's quickly look at uh, its chart and see okay uh, let me just zoom out a bit so this is an interesting chart uh, the stock already trading above the 200 day moving average since uh, november 2020 and then you see here there was a bit of a resistance where the stock um, sort of struggled a bit then came back found support in the 200 day moving average again until it broke above this resistance uh, level so the stock is currently trading at uh, 60 dollars and it's moving up if you were to buy at this level a stock uh, just below this uh, or near 55 dollars per share is a sensible area to put your stop level there so there isn't much that i can say uh, with this stock except that it's on an uptrend i like it it pays dividends so anything is possible okay if you zoom out you can see that uh, the stock it's at a large dividend uh, resistance area so what you want to see you want to see the stock breaking above this area if it breaks above this area anything is possible well we're not going to focus on this uh, tweak but it's possible that it can trade all the way to the 67 um, us dollars 
per share so that will be great that will mean that it's more money into your pocket so every time you analyze a chart it's better to zoom out or zoom in so that you can look at the bigger picture and see what is there because the only reason I use a chart is to look at the path of least uh, resistance I'm not trying to predict where the stock is going to be or saying that based on the previous price the stock will do that no you want to see where is the momentum of that particular stock at that uh, certain time so yeah that's it that's all that i wanted to share with you today i wanted us uh, to look at these different uh, tobacco companies uh, british american tobacco philip morris imperial brand altria group and uh, universal corporation so i hope that uh, you found value in this video and if you did find value in this uh, video i will appreciate it if you can click the subscribe button and if you enjoyed this content please uh, click uh, the like button as well and to make sure that you don't miss any uh, future analysis of different stocks just click uh, that bell notification so that every time when we upload the video you can see it so that's it we hope that uh, this was useful for you it was beneficial it will help you to make a um, good investing or trading de uh, decision remember this everything that we shared we just shared is my opinion you still need to consult your financial advisor this is not a financial advice it's just an opinion you still need a professional financial advice to make uh, those uh, investing decisions see you on the next video Thank you.